they are they are used for I mean they they're in your face they're an in your face flower they are um, of course they're varying some of them are the dark centered and some of them are like these um, they have that contrast with the petals and that eye which is very compelling and I have also picked them. Um, which I realized was a very negative way of starting class. But I'm starting on this negative note that personally I find yellows in watercolor difficult. I and I don't mean that just in my own painting with them. Um, and some of you may, I mean Ernie came in and said, yellow, yellow. Um, you may have a very positive feeling about sunflowers, yellow, whatever. But I know when I'm looking at paintings also. The often, I often find the yellows um, in watercolor can tend to a deadness or uh, heaviness. And so I thought, all right, let's, I'm going to start with this that sort of push you to really think about that. And I, if there's one thing that I care about in, in what I'm trying to teach, it is um, to try to, to look at things with a, in a with a lot of effort, with a lot of concentration, with a new eye, and to maybe see things in a new way by simply looking. Um, I think one of my handouts was looking in order to see. And so that's something I just would emphasize all the time for whatever we're doing. So I thought, all right, jump right in. Jump into the center of that flower. You can, you can do a flower head itself or um, the still life, which I have still life, a little arrangement, which I call, what did I call? Um, my, my summer vacation. So the my summer vacation is a little bit moving into the fall with these sunflowers, which, which flower towards the end of the summer, I mean summers earlier, but um, the, the corn may be in there with, with some of yours. Um, so some things tending into passing or moving into autumn. Um, a harmony with, with a pot, and, uh, sometimes harmony of color, sometimes this wonderful pot uh, with a, the harmony and reflection of the sunflower itself. And then my summer vacation. Here's, here's a little postcard that you didn't send. And um, again, it is a, it is a color color reflection of, of some of the objects there. So everything can, can hang together as you look at it. I would, I suggest, um, unless you just are a perfectly comfortable, love your yellows, love everything you've ever done in yellow, do not agree with what I'm saying about that it's a, it can be a challenge. But if, if you have any of that feeling of yellow, do some little swatchy things or a quick thing and make an effort when you do it to, um, I'm not saying necessarily with these, these as characterize so much of my work are kind of dying, dying um, sunflowers. Uh, these aren't necessarily dying, but they're nodding. Um, uh, use Maybe use a lot more water than you sometimes have. Um, flow some color into the water. Pick up on um, the, the places where the um, where the paddling hits the what do you call these? The little thingies. Leaves. Leaves. Are those leaves? <laughs> leaves. Okay. The little leaves behind them, or where it meets in here. So keep your eye for in the beginning a little bit on that um, transition from, from center to petaling or from petaling to leaves. So you pick up on many dings, I think I used the word tinging. So think, think about the transition. Think about other color in your yellow. Um, in a not, I, and I don't, I don't want to in any way indicate that I think yellow per se, um, you know, front and center is, is bad, but I, I'm trying to say 
Get, see if you can get keep a little character in it by by the tinge or the transition. And when you think of the transition or a tinge of something else, how are you going to go? Can it be just a an orange, for instance, a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange and green, even so that it's a little buzz at, at some of these joints. Um, so that is a personal prejudice that I thought I would want. I decided that after the whole session it's going to be like, it's just about me. <laughs> it's going to be my <laughs> It's not going to be about me. But it's going to, I mean, I have these little personal things that I think that, you know, not that it bothers me. It could be a personal, oh wow, this is very interesting. And I think, well, that may not be important to bring it up. And I, I'm going to just do what I want. Um, I almost always suggest a cool yellow and a warm yellow. And I very much, I'm very fond of pants and yellow light. Um, and I, I have very in the warm yellows. I've been using a lot of Indian yellow. Um, another cool, uh, wonderful, uh, very transparent yellow is, of course, Aurelian. And, um, what else do we have? Well, cadmium. Some people use cadmium. Some people never go near cadmium. You have to think about think about how you use these too. If you do use cadmium, think about the amount of water uh, with it. So, do yourself some swatches. Do yourself maybe a sketch. Maybe a sketch on crummy paper. <laughs>